Some of the greatest moments surrounding BYU football don't happen at Lavelle Edwards Stadium, but after practice on Thursdays, the team calls it Thursday's Heroes, when they rally around folks who are facing significant challenges. Here's BYU TV's Kathy Aiken. Young Atticus Coons was all smiles at spring practice recently, while Kay Burge was catching passes from Taysom Hill, a much needed break for both families. That kind of give us, gave us something to look forward to that wasn't part of all of the stuff that we've been dealing with in the last couple of weeks. Several weeks ago, John Coons and Brian Burge were killed while cycling early in the morning in Lehigh, Utah, each of them leaving behind a wife and several children. It meant everything. He, lo he, just, he just loved the, the school. He loved the, um, just the program, kind of what it stands for. You know, BYU football stands kind of for more than just football, and he really loved that aspect. He was an amazing husband and father. And, um, so it's good, like the memory of him is fabulous, so. With those memories in hand, the- Hi. How you doing? The two families were honored as Thursday's hero. Ross Oppo's wife, Jessica, is a cousin to the Burge family. You know, what you guys are going through right now is a million times harder than, than what we do out here. And uh, it's just a big inspiration to us, to how strong you guys are. On behalf of the team, we have uh, some goodies in here for you guys. Goodies like shirts, hats, and their traditional signing of the team flag. But the most emotional moment came at the end. From my understanding, there was a husband that wore beanies all the time. And so this has got to go there. <laughs> yep. It's a good one. Oh, thank you so much. But my husband loved beanie caps. And he had a huge collection, and you very rarely saw him even in the summer without a beanie. And when Bronco gave me his beanie, that was very, very, that meant, that meant a lot to me. That was a very special moment that I will treasure forever. You feel it. It's a whole feeling. The whole organization is all about helping people and living so that people look up to you. And I want my kids to look up to people such as these fine young men that were helping them today. Just to see them smiling and not sad is really good. My husband, I think, is, is watching and cheering and loving every minute of it. Absolutely. Kathy Aiken reporting there. After practice, Taysom Hill and several of the players stayed to play with the kids of both families, something Katie and Naomi were very grateful for. Some of the best stories we do here on True Blue Thing.